Hey folks, I have a whole lot to talk about today. Um, yeah, yesterday, before I went to bed, you know, we were supposed to get some rain. And I looked at the radar, and yeah, it's definitely approaching. And I wasn't sure if I was dreaming or not, but apparently we got storms. <laughs> I asked Ken yesterday, he said, did we get thunder this morning? Apparently we did, so I guess I slept through it. I thought I wasn't sure if I was dreaming or if I actually heard it, but apparently we did. So I got what I wanted done. Uh, we took our, our donation to the food bank, and I brought the trailer home, and I just went to Timmy's and went for a really quick tour. I wasn't planning on showing it or anything. It's a good thing I didn't. Because I only used one camera and I forgot to turn it on, so <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to anyways, even if I wanted to. So I did laundry yesterday. My mask is still pink. So it's supposed to be washable. And I wash it and the colors still ran. The red is still mixed in with the white so and I believe it said cold water only well it was in my pocket when I got rained on that rain was cold so it was cold water and that's what made it run originally so. I don't know not impressed by it but I'll still wear it so I'm not going to do a whole lot today I'm going out um Michelle's in the hospital today getting her hip done, so I got a couple things I need to do in the house before she gets home. Um, I still got that plumbing job to do for her. <laughs> she's going to need that done by, by the time she gets back. And I don't know if she's coming back today or tomorrow, but they're not keeping her there very long. That really bothers me. But uh, praying it all works for, for her. It's not necessarily going to help her walk better. She's got CP, so she can't walk all that great anyways. But it's she's in a lot of pain, so I'm hoping that'll take care of, of that problem. But today, 24, which isn't too bad. And I see what looks like storm clouds. We're supposed to get storms again, and then it's going to cool off. Yeah, and see down at the bottom here. Brace for a long weekend chill after next storm threat moves over Ontario. And there's pretty pretty low temperatures coming for the weekend, so But like I say, I don't have a whole lot planned. Um I'm No, I don't have any shopping to do whatsoever. The only thing I really need to do is stop at the post office, so that's probably all that I will end up doing. I guess that's all I had. Let's go for two.
forget to mention I'm trying something different. I have the microphone actually sitting on the desk. Yeah, I just gotta watch the vibrations that I'm making. Because <laughs> it's farther away now I can talk like this and not kind of overwhelm it. And it seems to work. So I'm gonna make some kind of little rubber mount for it. So it's attached. I'll probably mount it to one of these posts here. And a rubber mount will kind of get rid of those vibrations if I happen to set something down. Holy smokes. I was doing fine. It's beautiful out. <laughs> I stopped at the post office and Michelle's got a huge box. I had no idea what it is. It doesn't weigh much more than the box itself. So. Tried to stick it on the on the monster on the floor, and it just it takes up the whole space. I get nowhere to put my feet, and I couldn't steer. So I had to go on, come on, grab my trailer, and go back and get it. And, and then bring the trailer back in, and now I'm just worn out just from doing that. So, it's kind of interesting because <laughs> I think Ken's confused. Yeah, he heard me. He, heard, he probably heard the door. And he's looking out and he's like, oh, somebody here? <laughs> so, I'm sure he'll see the, the, the box sitting there because I just stuck it inside so I wouldn't have to carry it in with everything else. So, wow. Sitting behind the community center and I heard Orange Chopper coming in and they land out at the airport and shortly after I started hearing it I heard ambulance come down from the hospital with the sirens going so they're taking somebody out probably London. London's usually where they go when they go by helicopter. My first thought was Michelle, because <laughs> Michelle's not good with surgery. She's like me, it just you know, it's just not. It's something you try to avoid. But I'm pretty sure she's already in London, so I'm gonna ask Ken where she went. I'm pretty sure she's in London anyway, so I don't think it's her. And I stopped and talked to Reg's daughter, I think, and asked about him. He's doing fine. He does have to go back to London Thursday, which would be tomorrow, I think. But his his the swelling in his toes is going down apparently, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Other than that, he's doing all right. And he's he's walking pretty good now. So he's got his mobility back. But he just he wants out of the hospital so bad. He's been in there so long now. So. I don't have to move the bin up in the trailer anymore. Somebody moved it for me. <laughs> it was nice to see. Uh, 
I didn't have to slow down and, and take a chance on scraping something on the way through. Right, a little bit. If, it, if I put my, my mirror extensions on, I wouldn't be able to go through there. Is it just my one mirror gets so close? Because it's kind of slanted when I go through, and the one mirror just gets so close to it. But if I had my extensions on, I, I wouldn't be able to go through there, or the mirrors would hit each time. But somebody, they didn't get it out of the way, they just kind of mush, mushed. Pushed it over, there's about six, eight inches more space in between now. Which is plenty for me to go through with the monster without worrying about touching. So, wow, I'm sweating now. But it's nice out, temperature's just beautiful. Uh, the sun is, is nice and powerful, but it's not overwhelming, it's just, just nice. And I really didn't want to come home, but I got so much I need to do. I want to go back out, but... <laughs> I gotta do that plumbing job for Michelle. That's gotta be done before she comes back. I'm not looking forward to it. But it's got to be done and I'm the only one that's really gonna do it for her. Aside from getting the landlord to come in and do it, but we really don't want to bother him to do something like that. It's a simple job, it's just a matter of I don't, I don't like working in tight spaces, and that it's a tiny bathroom. It's just a, a toilet and a shower, one at each end, and not very much space in there to work behind the toilet. So, hey, I guess that's all I got. So, I'm gonna head in and see what else I can do. Okay, quick update. Zach and Ken just came out, and. <laughs> He's going to get the rest of his car parts so he can finish fixing his car tomorrow. But Ken checked the box to see what was in it. Apparently it's a toilet seat. He got this big huge four foot box for a toilet seat. <laughs> <laughs> so Michelle's toilet seat broke down. That was one of the things one of the things she wanted me to, to change for her, so and do that while I'm doing everything else. I can't believe that huge box for a toilet seat can me a break. So, anyway, I guess that's all I got. Um, the only other thing I can really think of is something I can't even think of. If it was there, it just went away. Oh well. Remember, if it was important, I'll include it in the next video, I guess. So, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching, guys.